Hi, my beautiful sun rays. I'm so glad to have you guys back. So I made a really quick video on how I cooked Brussels sprouts and lamb ribs. I decided to use my foodie ninja that I unboxed for you guys in my last video. And I'm so excited. This was my first time ever using an air fryer and oh my gosh, it has changed my life. It took me like 20 minutes to cook all the food and it was perfect, well seasoned, caramelized very well. I loved it so much. So I won't waste too much time talking. Let's just jump right into the video. Okay, so first I started off with my Brussels sprouts in the container. Here we have the Brussels sprouts, garlic, my great vegetable seasoning, and at the bottom here, it is this mix that I made to coat the Brussels sprouts. It has soy sauce, rice wine vinegar, and honey mixed up. So I'm making sure they're evenly coated, and that's me like moving it around to make sure everything is coated well. Now I just added some bacon, two slices of bacon to it. And again, I'm mixing everything up before I start to pressure cook it. So here is the step to pressure cook it. You put the pressure cooker lid on, you lock it in place, you make sure that the nozzle on top is set to seal. And then you only pressure cook it on high for a minute. So quick, simple, easy, just the way I like it. And um i'm not sure oh i just reset the time because this was my first time using this so i was trying to figure out the setting but there we go so this is what it looks like after it's done again i'm like mixing everything up to make sure that everything was cooked properly and i took out the brussels sprouts and now i'm just adding them back to the air fryer portion and I'm making sure it's spread out evenly so that they can all crisp up evenly. So now you just close the lid and put it on the air fryer setting. And I, I air fried it on 390 for 15 minutes, 17 minutes. And what I'm going to do is right here, you see I stopped it at like midway through and now this is what it looks like i'm gonna add some honey so that it can retain that sweet taste i like my Brussels sprouts sweet so when it crisps up it'll have the sweet honey flavor on it and yeah just sprinkle enough around all of the Brussels sprouts to get them coated i mix it up a little bit just to make sure like the honey is over every piece of each Brussels sprout Then I put it back in the air fryer to air fry for 10 more minutes. So this is what it looks like. Very crispy. I didn't have to use my oven and it was so simple. Now the bottom of the pan will have caramelization because of the honey, but it comes out super easy. So now I'm gonna work on my lamb ribs. I season the lamb ribs with my grazed vegetable seasoning and some garlic. I let that marinate overnight in the barbecue sauce. And this is what I'm pouring over it now, that barbecue sauce. And I added the leftover stock from the Brussels sprouts to this to make it sweet. And now I'm gonna pressure cook it on high for about, let's see, I forgot, but I'm about to show you. 15 minutes because it's lamb and I know lamb cooks very quickly. I only did it for 15 minutes and remember to turn the nozzle and that's what it looks like after 15 minutes. I drain off the oil and the seasoning and I plate them in the air fryer. I make sure that everything is spread out evenly and now I'm adding the barbecue sauce on to the ribs. Once I'm done, I'm going to air fry it for about thirteen minutes. And then halfway through, I stop it and I wow, look at the caramelization on that. I flip over each rib to, to look at that. I mean, 
just remarkable. Flip them over and then you coat the other side with barbecue sauce and then you put it back in the air fryer for the remainder minutes. So I think that was like five minutes left. Purchase your tracks today. And this is how they look when they're done. Look at that, so delicious. And they were so sticky. And this is how I plated it with the ribs, mashed potatoes, and Brussels sprouts. Yay, you guys have made it to the end of the video. I am so glad that you guys tuned in. Thank you so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you're not a Sunray, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to the subscribe button that allows you to turn on your post notifications so you'll know every time and I upload a new video. So go ahead and click that little bell. It's not up there. I don't know why I'm pointing up. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.